Cherokee removal was a complex and multifaceted ethnic cleansing that happened across many years and several present-day southeastern states, affecting the entire Cherokee nation. In the spring of 1838, over 7,000 federal and state troops occupied the Cherokee nation and erected 31 stockades, which were temporary prisons in preparation for Cherokee removal. The following summer, troops rounded up over 16,000 Cherokee people and forcibly relocated them to the stockades, where many people died from disease, starvation, and exposure. In late summer, Cherokees were moved from the stockades to various departure points. This forced removal to Indian Territory lasted several months. Cherokee people were marched up to 1,200 miles with very few provisions, and they encountered blizzard conditions along the way. Ultimately, one in four people died or disappeared on the Trail of Tears. For many Cherokee families, removal happened quickly and violently. Many people were forced to leave with only the clothes on their backs, and their homes were raided and pillaged by soldiers and white settlers. Whatever remained became the stolen property of land lottery winners and land speculators. For example, the remaining items you see in the farmstead house, including beds, children's toys, religious items, food, clothing, and family heirlooms, represent generations of experiences and memories people were forced to leave behind. Consider the process and events of Cherokee removal as described in this video. Why do you think relocating was called the Trail of Tears? <laughs> 